Yo, it's your boy Lilo Jones, and you watching Lilo in the Garden. Yeah, man, today on In The Guard, man, we just back at Shadyville, you know what I'm saying? No adventure today, just trying to show y'all how it is, how everything been growing and prolificating up here in Shady Heights looking real nice, you feel me? So we're going to go ahead and jump straight off into it. I'm going to show y'all how we done did it, done it, and how we do it up here, you feel what I'm saying? Check it out, and you're going to see what it be about, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, man, you see how big these things done got up here, you know what I'm saying? Prolificating, busting like a fool, you know what I'm saying? That's that butter crunch lettuce right there you know what i'm saying look at them big boys you know what i'm saying they're right there at them collard greens you know what i'm saying the leaves are already the size of my hand you did what i'm saying you know what i mean this that romaine lettuce right here romaine lettuce standing tall and strong you know what i mean they ain't going nowhere you know what i mean and you see i done built up some of the mounds you know what i mean i added a little dirt to some of these greens you know what i'm saying so they can get really rooted in the ground when you add dirt to the greens and put more dirt up to where the leaves start all them stems ain't gonna do but turn into roots and start uh re-rooting themselves and that's just gonna make the plant grow a little bit stronger as well as it's gonna have more roots to get more nutrition out the ground you know what i mean check it out you see it, that big boy kale that thing growing like a fool I ain't never seen kale grow like that before, you know what I'm saying? It just busting like a tree, you know what I mean? When we go over here, i show you what that other kale looking like. And it ain't doing nothing compared to that kale, you know what I mean? Over here in the cut, we got some of the turnip green. They busting, looking real healthy. You know, I done had to eat down on some of them. Them things good. Look at them cabbages, though. Yeah. Big white cabbage. You see it, them balls coming up real nice, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But see... The issue that I'm having up here in Shady Heights is a tree, you know what I'm saying? That tree right there, you know, that tree blocking a lot of sun right now because the sun has moved down into the uh, southern hemisphere of the world, so to speak, as we tilt and the sun moves, you know what I mean? That's how we get in our season of fall. So with that being said, that's blocking out a lot of sun, you know what I'm saying? Everything, even though everything is jumping and looking real good up here, you know what I mean? We're gonna go down bottom to shady lanes and I'm gonna show you how everything down there busting even harder because it's getting more sun, you know what I'm saying? And since these are the green leafy vegetables, they like solar panels. The leaves are like solar panels. The more uh, sun they can get, the more chlorophyll they can make, the bigger they can get, the better they'll taste, as well as the bigger the leaves get, the more sun they can get, uh, take in as they generate more energy. So we're gonna keep on going. You see it. You know what I'm saying? Things in the pot looking good, you know. Right there, that's some more of them turnips, you know what I'm saying? There's some uh, uh, rutabaga right there, you know what I mean? Over here, all the herbs still looking good, you know what I mean? You see, that's empty. Doggone squirrel hat that got me. I saw him, too. He was just eating away, hiding his little nuts in there, you know what I'm saying, for his little winter. But it's all good. Bugs, you see, they done been eating up on my uh, purple cabbage, you know what I'm saying? Got these volunteer tomatoes, they coming back up, you know what I'm saying, from where them tomatoes had fell down or whether them little uh, chipmunks that was getting on them had to drop some down there and them seeds and start busting once again because right now it's like we in another spring. This is like the second go around the spring as we transition from summer to fall, you know what I'm saying, it's just like the transition from uh, winter to spring, you know what I mean. That's how it is down here in GA, rather I should say in Atlanta. Everything else still busting, you know what I'm saying? You see it, everything in the pot doing what they do, you know what I mean? So, now we're going to go down here to Shady Lanes, see how the raised bed doing they thing, you know what I'm saying? And let you show how everything is prolificating. You dig? Yeah, you see it down here in Shady Lane, you know what I'm saying? It's full shade right now, you know what I mean? It's about 5 o'clock in the afternoon or what have you. But everything's still busting, because like I say, during the daytime, it get plenty sun down here. You can see these potatoes. 
Look at them, they flowering, you know what I'm saying? That's the red potato we put down in there with New Kello a while back. And you see they flowering up good, so you know they busting up underground with it, you know what I mean? That's the other smaller pot though. They making it do what it do, you know what I mean? Right there, you see it? That ginger, it done came in, you know what I'm saying? That turmeric right there done came in. And that's in the holy basil bed right there, you know what I mean? Right here, we, did, we got some uh, 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 beets in there. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. Something that beat me to my beats, it look like. You look how everything busting down here. You know what I'm saying? All them onions, you know what I'm saying? All that garlic busting right there. You see it? That's where uh, those sweet potato had repotted they self right there too. You know what I'm saying? So as you are working in your garden, you also got to learn how to identify plants and things like that so you'll know what things are because you have bees that pollinate like I showed you up top. You know what I'm saying? You'll have volunteer tomatoes coming in. If you don't know what they are, you'll cut those plants down when you could actually dig those tomatoes up, take them in for the winter, and have you a whole new set for the next go round. You did what I'm saying? Look at all these pots. You know what I'm saying? That that purple kill, it doing what it do in them pots right there. You know what I'm saying? That purple kill right there. Look at this. That's that uh Japanese purple giant mustard green. You know what I mean? I can't wait to see what they be about. You know what I mean? Look how all this Swiss chard busting up here at the top. Swiss chard busting like a fool. You know what I'm saying? Spinach busting. Look at that. That's a red potato right there. He done came up. You know what I'm saying? That kale busting. See, look. See how this kale is it, growing off the vine like a tree or something. You know what I'm saying? But that other kale just sprouting out leaves and clusters every which way. You know what I mean? I ain't never seen that happen before. But that what did happen when them goats came in, ate all that kale up off of it, ate the uh, skin back on them stems, and then that let the sun hit them stems. And along with that scat, they dropped down in the ground. You know what I'm saying? It made it do what it do up there. For real, for real. Look, you see how the lemon bun busting up, you know what I'm saying? So that sweet mint busting up back again, you know what I mean? They ain't worried about it. Look, I got some more red potatoes in there. They doing their thing, you know what I'm saying? And this is a little thing I did, a little project for the kids. I put the potatoes in there, right? So that they can see the potatoes growing in the ground. See, check it out. Let's see if I can find one. Boom, look at that. Potato, you know what I'm saying? They can probably see that. Let's see if I can find the one with the roots. Look at that root system. All up in there. You know what I mean? So, look, root. You can see how the potato growing. You know what I mean? So that's a fun little project I did for the kids that I teach. You know what I'm saying? I can go around with that and show them how potatoes grow underneath the ground and they can understand the process a little bit better. You know what I'm saying? Because there's nothing like doing it yourself when you're learning. You know what I'm saying? I, I am a uh, demonstrative learner. You know what I mean? You got to tell me, show me, and let me do it. And after that, I can get it. So if I learn like that, I try to teach like that. So I want the kids to see that. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, look at all these onions. We planted all them onions. The bit boy garlic, you know what I'm saying? And you gotta also learn how to identify those as well because the onion leeks are round, you know what I'm saying? And the garlic leeks at the top, they're flat. So you gotta be able to know how to identify those when you in the woods because there are wild garlic, there is wild onions that you can't eat. You know what I'm saying? The rule of thumb is if it uh, looks like an onion but it doesn't smell like an onion, leave it alone. You know what I'm saying? But if it looks like an onion and it smells like an onion, you might as well call it an onion and make it do what it do. You know what I'm saying? So that's how everything busting down here in Shady Lane. You know what I mean? I repotted them sweet potatoes. Remember we had got the sweet potatoes out of the bin. I repotted them. They look like they gonna do some, but we gonna see what happens. You know what I mean? All the sweet potatoes in the other pot, they busting. They busting like a fool, making it do what it do. Down here in Shady Lane with a raised bed doing they thing. You dig? Yeah, man, so that's a Shady Ville check-in for this week. I know that's a little short video, you know what I'm saying? But we just waiting everything to bust up, you know what I'm saying? We picking it, eating it, and making it do what it do, you know what I mean? And just acclimate to the situation, like I said. We got them in early enough to where the sun and that tree over there not doing us too much damage. But we still want to be able to uh, maximize, you know what I'm saying? So... Gonna keep on working with this thing. I know it's a short video today. Got a lot going on. My grandmother passed away, but I can't stop, won't stop. She wouldn't like that. 
So I decided to go ahead and check in with y'all, see, let y'all see what this garden be about, you know what I'm saying? Since we went on a little couple of adventures, you know what I'm saying, the last couple of weeks or whatnot. So y'all be easy, you know what I'm saying? Check out that Crafty Cosmic Creation, fresh tie-dye, you know what I'm saying? You know what it is, Lilo15 for that promo code, you know what I'm saying? Y'all be easy, and we out this thing. Peace.